Are they alive? Do we wait? Do we know that they're alive? Um, are they alive? Know. People aren't yes. alive. I know the people well, aren't alive. We got life scans from these tanks, which means there's something there's alive something in there. In there yeah. Okay. Is this specific one showing life? Are they all showing life? That's they're what I know. This is Haba, not. They Rose, were all. Right? Sh there was ten life forms in mm -hmm. the cargo bay, and there's ten cryopods. What if they like cold? What if? Well, then that's. I don't know. There's right. a difference between cold and <clears throat> cryo sleep. Right, but we've already. Um, I'm gonna say nothing about. That. We're, we're making a lot of just cold. It's a mix of chemicals to induce it. We're making yes. a lot of assumptions. I think. Well, you were if the Joshua? if the assumption is they're incubators, cry, initiating a cryostasis should halt the incubation process. But if somebody's been here, they're clearly maintaining the pod. So even if we, they might not be able to be initiated for whatever reason. So like we're, I don't, I don't know. Like at this point, my wife over there, yes, and nine other people. I, I, part of me just wants to say. Fucking set the room on fire, because I don't yeah. I don't know what to do. And I, if it is an incubation thing, I don't want to know what's incubating. So uh, I'm like, well, that's that's why I want a marshal team, and you know, bio yeah. But if there's somebody, yeah, but if they, yeah, it's gonna take a while. And if someone's here, like they, they might, I don't be moved, be done. So either we. Stay here. That sounds insane. Or uh, we search, maybe do a full, more full scan of the station to find the other person here to understand what's going on. If there's anybody here, I mean, there's somebody who accessed the computer systems before well, we. An was hour yeah. before we even got here. They could have left. They could yeah. have. They could have left before we even got here. They could still be here. We don't know. Yeah, that's the problem. There's too much we don't know. Yeah. Probably so go back to the ship wise. and I can try and scan the whole ship. It'll take a while, but I can do it. And meanwhile, we send out for martial support. Yeah. Yeah. Tavin. Yeah. As you are all walking down the corridor, you do get a blip on from your laptop. Okay. And as you open and look, Martha's radar is picking up something in the, the reaches of space currently on a path towards you. One singular blip. Probably about not that far from where you are, but you're probably talking within 20 minutes if they're travelling at a relative space or time. Uh, or speed, sorry. Um, but how sorry go ahead I was just, you do get that singular blip on the kind of security radar how long did it take us to walk to the uh cryo room oh probably from the ship three four minutes okay i will uh turn to the group and say uh something's coming in from space on the radar, we might want to hurry. Okay. And I will begin kind of jogging towards the ship. That just takes about 10 minutes for me to take off in yeah. no atmosphere, no gravity. Uh, so I am going to try and pilot 
Is my ship smaller than the ship we were in? Yes. I am going to try and park my ship on the other side of the ship from where the thing is coming, the blip, Yay. and then go into low power settings, basically minimize as much as possible so that we possibly wouldn't be detected by radar unless Question. they notice us. You are all kind of like preparing like the 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 start up and that kind of stuff time passes that it is deemed and this ship or this blip that's coming in is moving relatively fast it's not a slow moving uh blip so you are able to slowly maneuver martha around to the other side using it as sort of like a, a hiding spot um you're able to power down the less important uh -huh. kind of things trying to keep the important um, things that you can get away with still on and running um, i'll also uh say for everyone over the comms i will send i'll ask joshua to go where the uh light gun rail is for the controls which is in the uh bridge as well and then i will tell everyone to not send any messages or connect in any way to any services and to uh, not move around a lot the ship gets eerily quiet like you can hear a pin drop in the vacuum of space but there's no sound in space. <laughs> <laughs> but there is in Martha. Okay. <laughs> Means we have atmosphere. Right to say for it. Tavin. Yeah. As you are all quiet, the blip slowly getting closer is when a twitch in your hand just begins to show slightly. A few moments pass and the blip is within a short distance from your location. It gets to where you are currently located and stops and the blip doesn't move a few moments pass and the blip begins to move again but continues on its path that it was going and just continues until the blip is no longer in sight as i begin the power up sequence for all the non-critical stuff in this ship okay. and while they are walking here before they get here i'll turn to joshua and say no one else was on the ship, as far as I can tell, unless they have some very good cloaking stuff. Uh, we could we could destroy it if you were really wanting to do that. We could do that from with the ship. No, we need a chance to get the evidence out there. All right. Well, if they get a chance to get the evidence. We'll see what happens. Joshua, give me an mm -hmm. observation roll, please. Observation. One and a one panic. So that goes up. Stress goes up by one, right? 
Yeah, yeah. No. no, you just roll. No, no. it it only de it depends on what happens during your panic. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Up. Nope, I'm good. Okay, um, as Tavin and you have this conversation, um, you kind of get out the seat to the 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 rail or the light rail gun, and just as I glance out the window. That's when you see it. Not being picked up by the radar, but currently Fuck. dead ahead of you is a ship. Well, a comms just in that direction saying, uh, ship, please identify yourself. A few seconds pass and you do not get a returning message. Okay. Can I calm them? If I'll, Avery allows it. I'll let her... I'll hit the button so that she can try sending out a recording. Uh, this is Colonial Marshal Kerrigan McKenzie on official Marshal business. Please identify yourselves. Another few seconds pass and once again, there is no response. However, Tavin, something does come through, and it is on the written communication device that you have. And it's a selection of letters that you recognize from your past. And it takes you a couple of seconds to kind of realize where you remember this this is the secret code that you used while you flew with the Kronos that each crew member used to identify themselves as a member of the ship okay I'm going to take a wild guess. Is it Cooper's? It is indeed. The scientist. Okay. I, you all see Tavin, like, take a huge fucking sigh of relief. And then I will send my code back, identifying myself. Your way to the airlock, just as they step in, pressurize and take off their helmet and that's when you do see a uh, more aged than you last remember seeing them because it has been some time uh daniel cooper kind of looks at you through the kind of airlock door window and gives a somewhat relieved smile towards you. At some point during the conversation, Joshua would have kind of snuck off the bridge. So when Andrea left, she probably would have noticed he was gone. Okay. Um, no, that's, that, that's fine. Um, yeah, you're all able to kind of go off uh, and do what you're doing. Are you wanting to go through what you're doing currently? Uh, if, if somebody would go look for him, they'd just find him in his bunk with a little, like, uh, pig viewer. He just, he just, he just left. He, he just yeah. left the bridge. Okay, no, that's, that's fine. Um, I would probably say that 
Jamie would be in the, the, the room with you, but I would say that he probably senses that something is just off ever so slightly and he isn't going to be the typical Jamie. He'll probably just kind of keep to himself. He'll probably keep to himself for a few minutes before leaving and kind of going towards like the uh, kitchen area or something like that and kind of sitting up there. But um, it probably would, it'll probably be about five ten minutes and jamie does come back and without saying anything puts a prefab meal and a drink on your bedside table and then leaves again yeah joshua is just gonna like lose his shit as silently as possible you get a message back Yay. Um, I don't know why I have your message opened so I can. Um, you do get a message back. Again, it doesn't go into major detail or anything like that, but at this point, you're used to kind of just affirmative and, and things like that. Um, yeah. You get a message back to say that. Messages received, they will look into coordinates you've provided yeah. and they say that they are very interested in the information that you have passed on and they will look to probe deeper into the origins of the information hey. as after you've read that message you do get um at some time you kind of look up your database and the information that you get is that professor daniel cooper is 63 years old currently has been a scientist for quite a few of the companies and the bioengineering and stuff like that nothing too major it was never any like head scientist lead scientist it's almost as if he kind of just moved around, never really settling in um, until he was around 27, 28 when he started working on the Cronus ship. And from that point, information is scarce. Um, it has a couple of... Uh, arrivals um in novgorod uh, on earth on luna um at arcyon at different stations and, and stuff like that spread throughout um last known location was anchor point station but other than that there's not been there's not a great amount of information on the data it's, it's almost as if he's just not been around the last seven eight years almost that you do see about the cryo sleep and the cryopods each time you get into a file, you start reading, and it'll talk about um, transporting of uh, cryopods, but no matter what, 
once you get to like as soon as you try and scroll through the file is encrypted so it's almost as if you can open the file but reading the file is encrypting it and you can come out the file go back into the file and it happens again you can read the beginnings of it and as soon as you try and read more an encrypted message comes up is there a way for me to uh unencrypt that or would i need specialized equipment for that you would need specialized equipment to be able to access this form of encryption okay uh i want to make a copy of all the files directly onto the ship uh and then i will forward the uh list of the lo of all the people who came into contact with the black goo directly to kerrigan if i can yeah that's no problem and so. uh say you might want to look for these people most of them are fake names but hey that dumbass lee is still on there yeah. I will afford it to Montel, and I will afford it to whoever the acting deputy at Novgorod is right now to be like, hey, be on the lookout. And I will also, if I can, forward it to the bear and be like, hey, that asshole that uh, you locked up for me, just so you know, everywhere he's been, got this fucking goo. Yep. And uh, then I will... Uh explain what it said uh about the cryopods it's it's all encrypted and i can't break it with the equipment i got and uh may i see it i will uh yeah i will let her see it yeah thank you so much yeah you're able to yeah. access and have a look i'll take the storage drive <laughs> leave the, i uh... am <laughs> I'm going to uh, stop her from doing that. I'm going to grab her wrist if she goes to try and take the storage drive out of the ship. Your technology doesn't do anything for this encryption, sir. I'm going to step up really close behind Tavin and say, remove your hand from Andrea immediately. Let's not escalate this. We'll okay. remove my hand. And I take the storage to better look at the bitch. Okay. Where are you going with the storage drive? I'm going to forward everything that I can. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You are look, I said it was going to. No, that's fine. You are able to And do anything that. that I can't unencrypt on my own that is also going to them because they can definitely do it. Um yeah, no, you're able to send everything across, no problem at all. It leads you kind of into the kind of lab space where there's a lot of things kind of working and going and microscopes and stuff like that. And it'll lead you over and it'll go, the only thing that I've been able to get from this is this little, and it brings out a kind of little vial, or not a vial, it's like a Petri dish. And you, do see that there is the tiniest amount of this black liquid inside it and it puts it under the microscope and says take a look and just see how weird this is and I'll, I'll look through as you look This liquid under 
a powerful microscope isn't just a liquid. This liquid looks to be alive. It's as if it's filled with these tiny, tiny... It's not even if it's like tiny creatures. It's... It's just little moving parts. There's no features to them. It's just... Even in this little, little drop, it's just hundreds and thousands of little moving things that make up this liquid. On the, uh, the first station we went to, uh, which was Arceon, right? Yes. Uh, we found a lot of it and uh there were people who were infected we found a bunch of paperwork with it and uh yeah we took some i don't even remember why we took some i don't know who we were planning on giving it to and i put it in an airtight container and then put that one in another container and then strapped that down okay um we've got more than you but i can't tell you an exact amount Okay. Um well so long as you keep it safe and kind of store it correctly, you should be fine because here's something else that that will blow your mind and it kind of suggests you to look back into the microscope and as you do it it takes out like a it's almost like a spray can of like hydrogen so like very 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 cold kind of liquid 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 hydrogen yeah and he drops a small amount into this petri dish and the 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 liquid goes mental like it just starts the 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 creature or the things within it just ramps the movement up even though it's not necessarily moving within the petri dish these little things within the liquid just start barreling within as if creating an energy source that floods into them if whatever the things we saw in those cryopods react the same way to the cold and I don't know, they might be waking up soon. I don't know if it's a good idea to go on there, man. Right. Look. Let's do this. You go back and get your files. Have a comb through them. See if there's anything worth. I'm going to go Dock in here. Just go and have a little look. Get my curiosity out of the way. And then we can go over and, and, and see what's what. But you can't say that there's stuff in these cryopods and expect me just to leave them there without looking. Joshua, you are. All this time you have been in the your 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 bunk. Jamie, without knowing anything, has kept distance, kind of been in the, the, the kitchen area away. Um is there anything that you are looking to do? Yeah, after after he has like a after he kinda loses his shit for a few minutes, he's gonna like go take a shower and like kind of Start trying to get his head back together, and then he's gonna wander, like put like a shirt on, and kind of get himself back together, and walk out to Jamie and be like, "Thanks, kid. Appreciate it." Yeah, it it kind of just gives a a kind of nod and smile, like you you get the sense that it do, it doesn't know why, but. He understands that something isn't kind of all 
right um and he's just trying to he's he's awkward he doesn't know what to do he's just trying to he's just been empathetic really like he's a kid he's he's seen that somebody yeah. might not be their usual self and is just kind of like try to keep distance so i'm gonna i'm gonna look at him and be like hey um i know you stowed aboard for an adventure but we're in some we're in some shit so you might want to send a message to your dad that uh you're okay and you know you're you're doing all right but you might not be home for a while. Knock on the door or whatever and poke my head in. Hey. Hey. You, you know where Tavin is? Um, he picked us out of the bridge and locked the door. Off being an asshole somewhere. Put but his hands he's on Andrea. On the bridge. It's fine. It's, he's we're fine. Okay. Are you okay, Joshua? Yeah, yeah. Just needed to shower. Spacesuit. Just the Yeah. Bleh. Anyway, uh, I just I was gonna find out what happened. as what was going on. I like stepped out. Hmm. Let's see. He couldn't encrypt some stuff. Shared all the information with that Daniel guy. And then uh, when Andrea went to get the storage device put his fucking hands on her like he owned the shit he well he does own the ship i didn't say ship oh you said shit sorry forgot that he's here being paid by andrea's people like I we're do. the untrustworthy people here i just thought that if we sent it to someone with more computing ability, that they could, you know, clear the encryption faster. Yeah, and he's under contract to you. I mean, I don't yeah. like Waylon Yutani, but he's on under fucking contract to you. What does he do? Grabs her by the wrist, Joshua. I wonder if he read the contract. It's fine. Okay, so Tavin needs to work on his people skills and keeping his hands to himself. It's okay. We're fine. So I'm I'm sure if he did anything, he probably would have knocked him on his ass. Hmm. I don't know that I have that strength, I'm gonna be honest. Pretty sure he met me. Oh. Yeah, Kerrigan. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't think I could shoot him either. No, shooting him would be bad because none of us can fly this damn ship. Yeah. But that would be my go to response. I'm not gonna lie. What do you know about Daniel? I don't know shit. I know the, the the only reason I know anything is I met like his former crew's medic and a couple of his other buddies, but I don't know nothing about Daniel. All right. Well, would you like to see the background on the database? No. Uh, okay. Whatever information we got on whatever. Does Daniel have any information on A, the goo, or whatever the fuck those things in the pods were? He didn't uh, tell us if he did. No, I, I mean, he knows that uh, pretty much Lee has been connected to it almost every fucking time it shows up somewhere. So, we gotta go find Lee? I mean, Lee should still be on Alba, but I, well, I messaged the bear. Everything... Everything points to Sevastopol Station. Isn't the, the one that Jack said was destroyed? Mm, I, I mean... I wasn't there. Destroyed <laughs> has many different possibilities. We could, There could still be something there. So as suit speak for we don't want you to go there because we're going to say it's destroyed or what, Andrea? Jack's usually fairly straight with me. He might actually mean destroyed. He might also mean that most of it's destroyed and you'd have to be in, you know. Like this one? Yeah. He might mean this. Or he might mean 
just bits and pieces everywhere and there's nothing there. He hasn't said go there, but he also said that whatever we find here would point us to where we went, where we would need to go next. Oh, so fast to pull. Yeah. Probably. Great. All right, well, um, I guess whenever Tavin unlocks the bridge, I'll go have a conversation with him about keeping his hands to himself. Dude, like, do you need more time? No. Why? Mm, We found your wife's dead body. Yeah, we got work to do. Flesh bug? We, I mean... Kerrigan, you know how the job is. Fair enough. Fair enough. Would she uh, have been on Sevastopol? Uh, uh, no, I, I haven't talked to her in like a year or two. Fair enough. We, uh, last conversation we had wasn't the best. So, uh, it was kind of a shock to see her there, but buddy, it, it is what it is. We got a job to do, huh? It hey, will. Uh, it's going to take a few seconds for him to notice because he's focused, but uh, then he'll uh, turn and say, yes. So you want to tell me how your bridge meeting went? Say again, your mic was... I couldn't really understand you. You want to tell me how the meeting went? Orally. Yeah. Kind of. Found a list of potential people carrying black goo, gave that to Kerrigan. I couldn't open some of the files, and uh, Andrea decided to send all of it to Wayland yutani and Kerrigan decided to let that happen. And I assume you tried to stop her? I didn't feel like it was a good idea to let Wayland yutani have a lot of military secrets that are probably on those files, but hey. It was kind of a knee-jerk reaction, and I thought about it, and Kerrigan, you know, did the menacing thing, so... Yeah, it's, she does that a lot, kind of well. So you're going to keep your hands to yourself, I take it? <laughs> we'll see what happens. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Remember the conversation we had about people skills, tabbing? Hey, remember all the bullshit I've dealt with since yeah, you ha- I- were like, hey, you want a job? Look, okay, that's fair. It's that's taken fair. all of my fucking willpower to not leave your asses on this ship. Okay, that's or fair too. Not. Like in any fucking place we've gone to, it's taken most of my willpower to not say fuck it and leave all of your asses on that ship. Anywhere we've been. I, I so I am that. sorry that I am you know, at my fucking edge and Lashing out in small ways. I grabbed her wrist. I didn't fucking punch her in the face. Calm down there. Dial it back. I'm not saying you would. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, like, I get it. You're under stress. But, like, couldn't you, like, did something on the console to, like, intercept the transmission or redirect it? No. If you're going to, like, I don't don't have that. You could have been more subtle. Because, like, I mean, I get it. You're stressed. We're all stressed. Trust me. Like, what I saw on that, on that, direct, yeah, I, I get it. I'm just saying, like, I'm just, A, one, I'm checking in with you, and B, like, trying to, like, smooth everything over. I'm not saying you're a dick or anything. I'm just saying, like, I understand why you feel the way you feel. I'm just like, let's not put our hands on people unless we absolutely have to. That's all I'm saying.
And I appreciate you haven't left us. I, I didn't know what we were getting into. I just, I got approached for a job. I was like, hey, I know a pilot. I was like, I thought of you. Like, it was, had I known, I'd have fucking asked somebody else. Cause this shit, I don't even want to be here right now. It's too, I don't, I don't want to A, run from the military. B, I don't want to find my dead wife's fucking body in a cryo tube. So, yes, I, I get it. I get it. But we're in it now, and we need to figure out how to get the fuck out of it. And we can't do that if all of us are a hair's breadth away from A, living us on the planet, B, kicking each other's asses, or C, not trusting each other. Uh, when he leaves, I'm going to do... Uh a scan of the ship to see if I can see where Cooper is on it. See if he's still in the cryo bay, if he's like on his ship, like see if I can see that. You're you're muted. Sorry. Um Joshua, as you finish your conversation with Tavin and leave, um you do hear kind of like from somewhere in the ship um uh crying Jamie while you also hear a Carrigan tell him to keep up. Um <laughs> <laughs> Tavin, you do a quick um radar scan of the ship. You do see the ten lined up life form blips in the cargo bay, and you do see one other. Um, you watch it for kind of like a minute or so, and with each blip, you do see this this eleventh one sort of moving between the other ten. Um, giving you reason to believe that it's uh, Cooper just kind of looking at each. It's it, it is a very ordered movement going from one to another to another. Um, as that's happening. Oh, why Tavin decided to grab her? <sighs> yeah, I was worried uh, about the transfer he didn't want certain things getting out but tavin's afraid he's not used to this and reacted on impulse i mean he's afraid and reacted on impulse but then he gave every bit of information we've had to some guy who managed to get nose to nose with us don't you think that's a little suspicious like how did this how did this cooper guy know where the fuck we were I'm assuming, like most of us, Tavin sent a message to people he trusts. Okay, but, like, he was just in the fucking neighborhood? Come on, man. It, I mean, don't get me wrong. It, it's it's odd, but, I mean, some of the stuff we've seen and done, it's not unheard of that you could roll up on something. I'm just saying, after finding out that my fucking father was tracking me and sending my information to the USCMC. Why is Tavin's good old buddy just randomly where we are? I don't think it was random. I think it was, hey, uh, found some shit. Uh, Might need some help. So if you're in the area kind of deal. I don't know. Suspicious to me. Mm. Everything is suspicious to you. You could see a grandma with a with a with a cane feeding pigeons, and you'd be sus of that. Yeah, I would. Because why are there pigeons on this fucking space station? You just made my point, Kerrigan. Every, everything is sus. Don't get me wrong; you're not wrong. Like Andrea 
how much do we know about who she's communicating with? How much do you know about who I'm communicating with? Nobody. She's communicating I... with Wayland Utani, which is not right. ideal. However, you were all hired by Wayland Utani. Like the information has to go back to them. If information, not all the information. I don't, personally, I don't know why they'd bring a marshal and it makes everything public. Yeah, that's a good point. Other than maybe they thought I'd try to protect my dad. Mm. I mean, they had to it's know just... more than they're letting on. Obviously. Like, why? There were at least some specificity. I can't say the word. She said it. Specificity. Thank you. Um. Mm -hmm to who they chose. I mean, you know, John Bishop, he's tied up in this. I'm connected to my dad. Don't know who Tavin's connected to in mm -hmm. all of this. You, okay. Yeah. And then I guess Andrea was connected to me. So, at the very least, we seem to be the center of this. Yeah, that's the thing I don't get. Like, this operation could have been handled by any team of operators or experts but they hired four ex what I can see is expendable assets regardless of what Andrea says I don't think we're as expendable as you think unless it's a grand ruse to try and get rid of people which is possible but that's just it like they don't Getting, no, rid of me, getting rid of me doesn't do anything. And I mean, you wouldn't have been involved either. Well, I've never been so, involved otherwise, unless they wanted information and thought they that they knew my dad was involved and that someone that you knew well was involved and they thought that that would somehow make a measure of silence. Or the opposite. Maybe they know us well right. enough to know that I definitely would not keep my mouth fucking shut about this. I don't know. I just... The math ain't mathing. And then that thing in the capsule, like the... Fleshy, fleshy spider, spider scorpion thing. What the fuck was that? I don't know. I don't know. Can you give me an observation roll, please? Fine. I'm gonna push it. <laughs> One success. One success. Okay. Um, as you're kind of in the you're in the bridge, kind of. Re looking over kind of like the file, seeing if there was anything that you'd missed, and um, and 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 making like your, your copy and stuff like that. You think you notice something on one of your uh comms units, and it 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 doesn't really seem like anything as you kind of go back, but then. You notice something again, and that's when you do look. As you've been doing this, you've realized that you hadn't switched off your radar. Just keeping an eye on what was happening. When you take a glance at the radar, you notice that the 11th blip hasn't moved. In a while, you think that it's just been in this one spot. And as you decide to actually take a, another look, that's when you realize that there's nine other blips in this cargo bay. Up ten. Not ten. And as you begin to 
take more of a look then there's eight then there's five then there's three and then there's just the one blip not where the original ten were but off to the side 